Adzi, it's a fact. Far more Aussies are living closer together than ever before. Very true, Taz, and that's why it's so important that you make the most of every little nook and cranny. Too true. And on that note, Adam and I are tackling not one apartment in this block, but two. That's it, with some smart ideas for small scale living. Catch you soon. <laughs> Okay, so this cute compact apartment is perfect for inner city living, but I do think there's a lot we can do to maximise the space of this living room kitchen combo. As for this area, well, the splashbacks are a little ho-hum and I do think we could do something with the bench top. And a washer-dryer combo, always great inner city apartment, but this one, well, it's just taking up way too much real estate. I reckon we could do something there. The fridge, well, it's just kind of tucked over here and it's kind of leaving us with all of this mess in the corner. So this whole area just needs a better storage solution. And as you can see, there is no dining table here, but I have got my eyes on this sideboard because I think with a little bit of an upcycle, we could do something with that. So there's plenty to do in here. I've got my plan. Next thing to do is just get to work. Before the boys and I tackle the kitchen bench in this apartment, we need to get all the appliances and the furniture out of here. Hope they all come off like that. The reason I've actually decided to take these off before the bench top comes off is so that they don't all fall into the cupboard. Easier cleaner. In small kitchens, as you know, every little millimetre counts. So by removing this wall, this division here, it'll enable us to actually wrap the bench top all the way around. We'll gain a full 750 mils, which is amazing. We've got this really good food prep area in the waiting here. Now, if you are removing a nib wall like this, you obviously need to check with your body corporate and strata and make sure that everybody is happy. And also on a safety side, use one of these. It's a multi-tool. You're not actually cutting right into the wall. You're just cutting into the sheeting. So once you've established what's inside and you know that this wall is not load-bearing and it doesn't have any wiring or plumbing, you're good to go. You're good to take it out. Thank you. A great space-saving idea in any laundry situation, especially where space is at a premium, is to combine two appliances in one. These days you can get really fantastic washer-dryers. So that's what we're going to do here. We've got a great washer-dryer planned. With the bench top over here, it leaves us all of this free space, so valuable in a small area like this. We can use that for more cupboards or shelving. Basically, the choice is yours. So good. Thanks, guys. It always amazes me what a huge difference a brand new bench top can make to an old kitchen. Now, one like this you can order from the special orders desk at Bunnings. It's from the Caboodle range. It's got this beautiful marble pattern through. It's known as Brunilla. And if you give them the measurements, they can pre-cut it to size for you. And without that wall, look at all the extra bench space we have now. For the splashback, I've chosen a product called Vistel. You've seen me use this before. It's an acrylic which basically gives you the look of a glass splashback, only this one is DIY. You can actually put it in and cut it yourself. It's very easy to use. It comes in plenty of different colours and I think if you want that sort of seamless kind of look instead of tiles, it's a much better option. Already looking so much better. By reclaiming the space where the old tumble dryer actually was situated, we've now gained valuable storage for the kitchen. Now we've built this box out of this bamboo, which is such a good material to use. It not only looks good, but you can see when you cut it on the edge here, you get this really nice design detail, no need to finish the edges. This could be used for storage for the kitchen or for the laundry. Speaking of which... Hey Taz, I'm just working around the corner. I thought I'd see how you're going. Oh, perfect timing. What's in the box? Washer dryer combo. Ooh, that sounds fancy. It's a really good idea. If you don't have a full laundry, yep. this is the ideal solution. Two oh. appliances in one. How's your table going? Well, I don't want to give too much away, Taz, but it is going well, but you'll have to wait to see the finish. I'm part. looking forward to it. Sounds beautiful. 
Remember how squishy things were before in this kitchen laundry with these two big appliances? Well, do love a new toy. This is a Bosch Series 6 washer dryer combo. A great space saver in a situation like this and super water efficient too. And the sensors inside detect the precise amount of water needed so not a drop is wasted. So important these days. This one also uses a special air condensation technology saving on even more water. Now that's the kind of green we like. For the final piece of the puzzle, I've decided to repurpose the old buffet. So the plan is to turn this into a kitchen island bench. Now this will also double as a breakfast bar. And when it's not in use and they might have people over, it can fold down and neatly push away against the wall. So to make it portable, the first job is to take off these legs and add some lockable caster wheels. To tie it in with our kitchen palette, I'm brightening things up a bit. And with the cabinet painted, I can put on the caster wheels. Next, a couple of shelf brackets on the back, but these ones have a difference. I've added a piano hinge, that way they can swivel back and forth. Now you can see what the brackets are for. Island bench, when you want to put things away, brackets get closed and it just tucks neatly against the wall. Another great space saving idea. Perfect, handy little spot for tea towels. Well, it's a beautiful thing, can't wait to see it inside. You found your new home. <laughs>、an、incredible transformation. Hasn't this kitchen changed? By taking out that clunky old laundry cupboard and combining the two appliances into one washer dryer, we've not only gained more bench space, but it's really opened up this whole kitchen. And I love the island bench. We've got heaps more workspace in the middle here. You can use this when you're cooking, so it gives you extra room to spread out. Also, when guests are over, you can have them sitting up here against the bench. It's like a dining table in the middle of the room. You could also use it as a servery, again, if you need more bench space. And when it's not in use, it tucks away neatly against the wall. So I guess this really does go to prove that with a bit of clever thought and planning, you too can find ways to maximise the space you never thought you had. Well, I would say we're done here, Adam. Great work, Taz. Mission accomplished. Do you like a coffee? I、oh, wouldn't say no to that. I reckon we've earned it.、Hey. Always.